have people choose the most important thing. I like, try to balance the, those things. Some of those projects that we started in 2021 that I ultimately see or regret allowing us to get started with and that would not make the cut today, they had a life of their own. And it's not that they were terrible ideas. They were good, plausible ideas, but they were not the ones that we were aligned as a company around as being the very top priority projects. And at the same time, we had people working on them that were working hard, that were satisfying customers with them. And and it's hard to change that. You cannot change that without a shock. People were holding on to it. And I don't blame them for it. We needed to make that really clear that we needed them to change, that they weren't doing anything wrong per se, yeah. but that we needed the company's priorities to change. And in a world that people were coming out of where there was always more headcount, where you could always do more by adding more headcount, I think a lot of people had gotten used to the idea that if they were working on something that showed some promise that they could keep doing that. And it's you didn't see in 2021 a lot of, hey, this thing is good, but it's not as good as this other top priority. So. That shock to the system, ultimately, it you know mostly worked. Uh, going back, there'd be a lot of things that we could do to communicate it better, just be more upfront with this is a shift. But what's funny is I see how much of a, a mind fuck it was based on how, you know, seeing how the sausage was made and how, how difficult it was and how many things we could have done better. But there's a lot of people on the outside who say, wow, you shifted to AI so quickly. Can you tell us how to do it? And VCs 